Well, we've been here for a few weeks now. At the moment, I'm working on a painting of a close-up of a temple. I was really struck by how impressive the colours are. It's really red, really green, really vivid, and then they have a lot of beautiful detailing. And so far, a lot of the paintings I've done have focused on the natural landscape, and I kind of wanted to do something a bit different. But in the meantime, I've been also been trying to work on a few other things as well, so I don't get too buried deep into this canvas. So this was the result of our trip to Wadzuka Tea Farms. It was really difficult to paint this. Um, I really like the result now, but all of these different rows of tea plantations, at one point I felt a bit overwhelmed by them. This is in Arashiyama. I really like the reflection of the greenery in the river. The thing I haven't added in this painting, which I'm still not sure if I will, is that there were lots of people with rowboats. Let's see, I might add them again, or might not. This is the first painting I did when I arrived. I might still work on it a bit, but I wanted to give it some time. But this, I think, so far might be my favorite piece. So this is in Ohara. So here we have the spider lilies again. They were just everywhere, so beautiful. This is one of the most recent ones. You can see for the first time, the green is slowly transitioning into orange and yellow and red. So autumn is coming. I can't wait to see it completely change over, but I wanted to capture something where you see a bit of the transition as well. But I've been trying to do some smaller watercolors and pictures as well. Also have my sketchbook with me. Sometimes to have a better idea of what the canvas is going to look like, I'll obviously sketch it out first. Just been surprised by how many things we've seen and also how many different people we've met along the way. Everyone's been so accommodating and generous and kind with their time and really enthusiastic to invite us into their studios and show me a lot of these different traditional Japanese crafts. Really incredible not only to learn about their process but also their the way they experience the art into, in the city and uh, as a, a Japanese artist. One of the artists we meant, mentioned, Japanese art tends to think about the story in a whole and how to tell that story and the emotion that is expressed in your art piece isn't just the result of what the viewer is looking at but also the process the artist puts into it by representing for example like a single figure a single tree a single image it's telling a wider story about society and myths and things that they have transcended through time in this culture i think that's really interesting because i'm almost trying to do too much when i'm looking at the scenery and, and representing it so i thought that was quite nice and i've tried to um, add some of those elements in my work or I'm going to think about how I'm painting and be conscious of that going forward.